you've decided to become an EMT, an emergency medical technician. This career requires you to think and act quickly under pressure, and you can't wait to begin. But what do you need in terms of education and experience to get started? We'll take it from here. As a leader in test preparation for over 50 years, Peterson's comprehensive knowledge of health and medical careers will help you architect your own success. In this video, we'll examine the five steps necessary to becoming an EMT from important prerequisites to passing the EMT basic certification exam. Let's get started. Step one. While being an EMT doesn't require you to have a bachelor's or associate's degree, you do need to have completed a high school education or have passed a high school equivalency exam. If you don't have a diploma, first work towards earning your GED or other equivalency exam. Step two, gain CPR certification. The majority of EMT training programs require entrants to already possess a current CPR certification before beginning the course. Resources like the American Red Cross and the American Heart Association can help you get started. Step three, find the right EMT program. These training programs are generally offered through community colleges or technical schools. Taught by instructors who currently work in the field, these programs take approximately six months to complete. Head to petersons.com to find schools in your area. Step four, prepare for the cognitive exam. The National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians, or NREMT, gives certificates to students who complete an EMT program and pass their cognitive EMT basic certification exam. This is a computer adaptive, multiple choice test that covers the following topics. Airway, respiration and ventilation, cardiology and resuscitation, trauma, medical obstetrics and gynecology, and emergency medical service operations. Of course, how you prepare for this exam is key. Taking a diagnostic test early in your study process can help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, allowing you to target the areas you specifically need to work on. From there, take as many practice tests as you can. It's all about gaining confidence heading into the exam, and that starts with not only setting aside the time to prepare, but also using that time to your advantage. Study guides and practice tests can only help you, and we have them all. Step five, register for and rock the cognitive exam. The NREMT requires that students register online at least four weeks in advance of their anticipated exam date. The exam ranges from 70 to 120 questions, has a two hour time limit, and costs $80. If you've put in the right amount of prep work ahead of time, you're set up for success. Finally, it's important to know that in order to work as an EMT in the United States, you must first be licensed or certified by the state in which you practice. Most states grant licensure based on certification from the NREMT, but make sure to check with your state's EMS agency to determine the requirements that apply to you. Head to petersons.com to find the right EMT program and prep for your basic certification exam.